hi once again you are welcome to creative ends international so today i would be talking about how to make this beautiful fascinator but the focus is going to be on the feathers work so making the attenator is not a challenge because i know a lot of us can actually make this attenator but i'm just going to be focusing on how to style the feather yeah who is excited so with this particular feathers is called duck feathers duck feathers is also used for making and fun but i will be using it to decorate my attenator today so i'm going to start by trimming so i just want to trim so that um, the edges would be uh, straight so i i trim to reduce and when you trim you can actually trim to your own taste your length you are using is optional so there's no need say no trim five uh, inches or how many inches is optional so i uh, will use uh, the odd comb or oh, this is normally used in salon okay so the odd comb they use it to stretch or flat tongue weavers so the odd comb or you can use the air tongue you know that one is round that one will help to coil the feathers very well better than the flat uh, tongue would do but still both of them are perfect you can use air tongue or you can use your flat or hot comb for this okay or flat tongue so we just use it to coil the feathers and like i said your length of feathers can be shorter than what i have it also can be longer than what i have and also you might just decide that you do not wish to trim at all so it then means that you can use the dog feathers like that you don't need to touch uh, the height okay so after we tongue this is what we get and how you position it totally depends on you you can see how i folded are facing each other or we can turn it the other way around wrap it against the fold like this uh-huh so we can wrap it against so your feathers length the length can be like 15 inches is all right between 10 to 15 inches is perfect so when you wrap it like this the coil is going to flow backward like you are seeing my own now or if you take the first wrap all the coils will be facing each other all right so straight up we are going to use art wire but before we use the art wire we are going to be uh, wrapping it so we use a veil net to wrap you can wrap it using a veil net or you can wrap it using thread so you can wrap with thread you can wrap with bias you can wrap with veil net so i used veil net all right so the other thing i did was to first of all turn my feathers sew it wrap it and then i try to stick it to the art wire i tried to fasten this process because i would still be explaining it ahead in this video so you don't have anything to worry about we go ahead now to use the veil net to wrap so it then means that the vein uh, the veil net color you use 
depends on the color of uh, feathers you are working with so you can decide to um, keep adding your feathers to create uh, branches as you wrap or you can wrap this art wire completely and then you go ahead to pluck out the feathers you want to use for the branches and then you begin to use either invisible thread or very tiny uh, thread of same color to begin to attach it on the stem so at this time the distance of the stem that you would be using totally depends on you as in how close and how far the stem should be or each of the branches should be from each other should be determined by you so it is determined by the individual making the production your length might not be as long as mine so the length of art wire i used is 24 inches so this is how to put or attach the feathers to the edge you start by applying a little bit of glue and then you wrap it around a little and then you go ahead and use your needle and thread to tie it very tight to the stem tie it very tight to the stem after that you cut off the thread and then you go ahead to um you go ahead to start um wrapping as you add your hot glue to it you just go ahead and start wrapping and then you continue to add your hot glue to it and then you wrap add your hot glue wrap until you are true with it it will just allow it to flow and the edge which is the uh, which is the final part of the feathers uh, will not be solo because if you don't do it like this it's going to be solo and you don't want that to happen that is that edge there so you have to devise a means where by the time you are done wrapping it the final part will still be uh moderate you know not swollen up and looking very fat and um and obvious for uh, people to easily uh, notice uh, what you did that that work is not going to be a very uh, good work so you just need to follow this pattern i used now to wrap and then you also have to ensure that it's closed but please do not concentrate it on, on top of uh, each other but still in wrapping ensure that it is closed in a way that by the time you try to turn it's not going to have too much of a distance from each other yes so that's just it so we we'll go ahead and finish up with the feathers just keep washing i will come up to explain any place that is necessary all right
so after fixing all on the body and creating your, your branches we we'll just go ahead and tongue it again so you can see how it came out looking like a branch of a tree so it's flexible it's flexible you can bend it anywhere turn it to any direction to suit how you want it to fit on your it can be a fascinator artinator it can even be on art whatever you want to fix it on all right so that is why we use the art wire to create the stem so that it will allow us to flip it to any direction to use it for our design so quickly uh if today is the first time you are discovering creative events international thank you so very much for trusting us and stopping by to watch our video all right so if today is the first time and you like what you see please kindly subscribe to our channel and then do not forget to also hit on the notification bell so that you can always get notified whenever we upload a new video and if you are a beginner in this business please do subscribe to this channel because this is one channel where you can actually learn and you can become a boss of your own without having to go anywhere to for physical training you have access to me you have access to my uh whatsapp uh, uh whatsapp line and of course you can shut me up you can send me styles or designs that you think you you are having challenges with if i have the video i'll send you the link if i do not have the video i will make video on it it's just that it might not just be instant because i'm a very busy person but whenever i'm able to create the chance i will always make the video so do where to subscribe to our channel and belong to our community thank you very much i'll see you in my next video bye